Okay, hello everyone. Today we talk about the DNA and the Mendel's law and the monohybrid cross. Okay, from last time we talk about the DNA. The DNA come from the word deoxyribonucleic acid. Here, yeah, S D N and A here. The word deoxyribo come from the root of the word, the name of the sugar. Okay, this one we call the oxy ribose and nucleic mean the nucleus okay and acid is a state of substance so it is a acid that you can see inside the nucleus that compose of the deoxy ribose okay and the structures of dna here compose of two thin strands mean this one the first strand and this one it is a second strand okay like this they are two thin strand and they are twist to each other okay so we can call this one as a helix okay and two as double so the technical term of this structure we call double helix okay they are spiral shape like a spiral staircase bandai vien kong sang bandai vien in thai we use the term kong sang bandai vien okay and they they are composing of the subunit so called repetitive subunit we call nucleotide okay the unit of nucleotide here you mean this one this unit and each unit of the nucleotide here contain nitrogen space it is a base that composed of nitrogens and we have four type of nitrogenous base pairing like this okay and they represent as a green block here violet violet block here and the purple box here and the blue block here and we can use a code as a, a t c and g and later they become the code in the genes and here the yellow one here represent the phosphate backbone in fact they compose of sugars linked with sugar and phosphate and sugars and phosphate like this along together so this one we call the sugar phosphate backbone and the link with the nitrogenous space adenine thymine the cytosine and the guanine like this the link together so they, they help together by the base pairing so each of the base pair here linking together by the base pairing to the other one to the g and this one to the c and this one to the a so the roles of base pairing is a base a adenine here always pairs with the base t and the base g always pair with, with the base C like this later they develop the genetic code the nitrogenous base as I mentioned previously the base here encoded into the form of letter so the gene code the gene code okay and represent the genetic information we have four types for the anidine adenine base A the thymine to the base T and C for the base here cytosine for the base c and guanine for the base g but in this one occur in the dna but if you mention the i the rna you need to change the base t into the base uracil okay so it means that the thymine here occur in the dna only okay the uracil here in the rna only like this this a so in, in DNA, we have A, T, C, G. And in RNA, we have A, U, C, and G. The base pairing in the DNA, we have adenine pair with the thymine. A with T. And C with G in the DNA. But in RNA, base pairing, it is the A, U, and C to G like this 
okay and how DNA function the DNA take function in two function the first function it is to replicate itself DNA replication organ จำลอง DNA is the way that they produce two identical means the same replica means copy they they produce two copies of the original DNA okay and after that, they undergo cell division. Okay, break into two cells. So these two cells here, we have two identical DNA set. They are the same. And the second one, they get transcription. We use GAN. Uh, it is process that we change the information from the DNA into the RNA. Okay, uh, this one is called transcription. Transcription from genes. Okay, they carry in the gene. Genes mean in the DNA. Gene is in the DNA into the RNA, and later, okay, they undergo the development of the protein. Okay, as we call this one as a genetics expression. Okay, DNA to RNA and to the protein. The process in the DNA and RNA we call transcription. And the process between RNA and protein we call translation. Like this. Okay, for examples, we have amylase gene, producing gene. It encoded into the amylase. producing RNA and after that they produce amylase enzyme so you can digest the starch into the sugar when you eat the, the rice like this okay and how we get the genes or how the gene get in uh, get inheritance get inherited from the mother to the fathers the all the organism here they send the gene sequence here from gametes or cell sepan and we have two types the first type is an egg from mother and the sperm here from father the mother here contain the gene set From mother. Okay, and this one contains 23 chromosomes. Okay, and from fathers, they contain another 23 chromosomes. Okay, and the gene set from father. And after that, they become mixed together and form your cycle. The cycle of the the offspring. The offspring contains forty six. This one here twenty three, and twenty three to get forty six. So each each chromosome here will represent in the pair form. The pair forms. So this one is form of the homologous chromosome. Okay, they are homologous. chromosomes like this okay and when you understand about the DNA and the uh, uh, genes like this we need to learn about histories of the genetic studies we need to study about uh, the Mendel story of Mendel uh, in 1865 we have the uh, Austrian priest okay known as the fathers of genetics his fathers he's the one that uh, start to study about the genetics name is Gregor Mendels okay and uh, he worked on the garden pea the garden pea okay or in Thai we call Thua Lan Tao this one appears some sad ones and uh, they study the fundamental law the basic laws of the genetics how they in inherit okay from the mother of father to the offspring okay and they study to 
make the cross fertilization of pure breed. The pure breed. P. P plant. And they, and, uh, they observe the clear opposite characters, opposite characters that represent in the uh, garden pea. Okay, what is characters? Okay, it, this one. For example, they study about uh, seven characters of garden pea. For example, they cross, the first one here, cross the, the pea breed. Uh, garden pea that show the purple, purple flowers to the pea breed. Garden pea that show the colors white. Okay, the pea here means uh, parent generation. Okay, they cross together as here. So the result, the results of the experiment here, this uh all the plants here represent the purple flowers here. Like this. So the question that goes to where is a white? Okay, why is the character of white that get lost? And when they uh rep uh work on all seven characters, the, including the 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 second character here is a Flower position in the axial here on the side of the here come from this bud and they have flower and the terminal here flower get on top okay on the top on the shoot and all the result here present the axial characters the seed color here from yellows cross with the green all of them become yellows okay and the seed shape from the round shape cross with the pure breed wrinkle then we get that round shape okay the the pot shape here they cross inflated one to the constrict one. The result show the inflated one. Okay, and the pot color here from the green pot to the yellow pot. Okay, to you get a uh, green pot, and the tall the tall uh plant to the uh short plant here you will get a uh, tall plant, and the the first of the the first character we mentioned here from this one. Later we call dominant trait. And the second characters of each we call recessive trait. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Okay, so I pick up one uh, one type of one way to study the first character it is a tall and short plant. Okay. The first filial when they cross between the tall, this is all a uh, pure breed. Tall plant and a pure breed. Short plant. Okay. They cross them together and they have many, many seeds. Okay. They have many seeds. All the plant here get germinate. Okay. Get germinate and grow up into the mature plant. And after that, here they have the flowers. So we call this group as the first filial generation. Lulu, Lulu, First filial generation represent tall characters. Okay, you will see that the plant here become tall, and after that, Mendel here work the second crossing. They cross between all uh between tall plant and the tall plant from the first filial generation. They get a lot of the seed, and the mega seed become germinate. Okay, germinate into the mature plant, and after that, they they observe the the size of the plant okay three fourth of these offspring here in the second filial generation okay become tall here one two three right three fourth become tall and one fourth they become short plant okay the question that goes to why this plant here represent where is in where where is the short character in the first filial? Okay, so the Mendel mentioned this character here to all character here seven characters they represent in the same way and they represent in the same ratio. So they try to answer this one. First, that we need to name the the gene or the trait first, the dominant and the recessive. Okay, the dominant the the first law it is. When we mention one character as a dominant gene or dominant trait here, we need to mention that the gene here need to match on the recessive gene. 
เคดมิเนนจีนี่ทูแมสออนดีรีเซสซีฟวันแอนด์เดอะฮอลเทรดเฮียนี่ทูแมสออนเดอะช็อตเทรดฟอร์เดอะพรีแพนอินเดอะเฟิร์สซีเรียลเจเนอเรชั่นวีเมนชั่นเฮียเคสตัวเดอะเอทอลเทรดเฮียบีคัมเดอะดมิเนนต์เดอะดมิเนนต์เทรดเอาดมิเนนต์จีนแอนด์เดอะช็อตเทรดเฮียบีคัมรีเซสซีฟ Trade like this because the tall trade here become mass on the short trade like this. Okay, and some word we we need we need to use it later in the genetics here, the genetic characters here, the genetic characters in the various organism here can they are controlled by the genetic units. And later we will call this genetic unit as a genes, okay? And phenotype. Sometimes phenotype here we can mention as a physical appearance. For example, the tall, okay, and the short, okay. So I mention it as a all you can see from the from the characters that you can see from from the crossing, and the genetic type, okay. We call genetic genotype. Sorry, genotype is genetic makeup. Okay, this one here we use it as a code. Okay, name it as code. We will talk about this later. For example, tall here we can mention as a T, and short here we use a small T. Okay, in order to make them pair together, and easy to understand. If we use a T, T and S here, we may confuse is it pair together or not. But if we use a large T to the small T, we know that the large one will be here. The capitalized one here will be the the uh dominant. But if it is a small case letter like this, it will be the recessive trait, trait, like this. Okay, and this is for examples. Okay, I give you some kinds of the characters. We have the hairs like this. Hair. We use hair or no hair. We can use the edge. Sorry, the edge here. Hold for this one, and no hair here. We use a small edge. For this to this one, the yellow. Okay. Attach and detach ear lobe like this. Here we use the lobe. We use maybe use L. No, no lobe here for the small L. The height of the plant, the pea plant. Here we use a T. In short plant, we use a small T. The colors of the flowers, we use large P. And the white one, we use a small P. Okay. So the the first group here will be dominant phenotype because you can see it. Okay. But the letter here, it is a code we call genotype. Okay, but sometimes we can pair them together. If you have the small case letter here, smaller one and the, uh, capitalized and the small uh smaller case letter like this, you can combine in three ways. You have large and large, okay, large and small, and the small and the small. If we mention large, uh, capitalize the large one and the large one like this, large a and large a here, you can get homozygous dominant and heterozygous dominant. You can use the Uh, large a and small a, and the homozygous recessive here is a small a and small a like this. Okay, but this one here represent because we have the dominant, dominant and dominant trait, and this one is also dominant trait. So the the phenotype you see supposed to be the dominant trait. Okay, and the large a and small a here. This one is a dominant trait, and this one is a recessive trait. Okay, when they pair together here, the uh capitalized a here, large a here, we mass on the small a. Okay, so this one here represent the dominant trait, and the small a, small a here, they are both of them become recessive. Recessive trait, and this one also recessive trait. Here, yeah, so the result, the phenotype here is supposed to be the recessive trait too. And this one, it is a genotype. Okay, the inheritance of the 
genetic materials the genetic the genetic characters from the parent he get transferred okay to the child or even the the sec the first filial generation as i mentioned about the garden pea okay by sperm and the egg cells okay by the process of combination we call fertilization with the sperm combined with the egg cells and turn it into the zygote we call this one as a fertilization okay as a sperm and egg cells like this combined together you get first cells okay and have two ways to study the genetics here we, uh, we have the monohabit inheritance and we have the habit inheritance but in our talk we will mention about the monohabit inheritance the monohabit inheritance you mention just only one characters at a time for example uh, tall characters and short characters okay but this one here may be two different characters for example uh, this one mentions size of the plant this one may be mentioned both size and flower of the plant at the same time okay for example homo no habit cross okay the pure the pure breed uh tall plant large t large t as the homo cycas dominant Okay, and pure breed short plant as a homozygous recessive. Okay, they are crossed together. This is model for the for uh for the Mendel to study. All the F one F one has yes, come from the word the first filial generation. Phenotype here will represent tall plant. So we can guess that the gene here become large T and small T. Because they come from one T here combining with this one. One T and one small T here to this one. So the gene the genotype here represent as a heterozygous. Okay, and after that the F2 here, the second filial generation. Okay, they are not all tall and all short. Okay, some plant they will get tall three fold as a ratio, and some plant here are short one fold like this. So the ratio of tall per short is maybe three per one, like this. And how we make the model to explain this? Okay, this one, uh, how many how many they works about the monohybrid cross? First step, they need to, uh, make a cell pollination. Okay, in in the F one, this is a F one, F one plant. Okay, they make a cell pollination, and after that they the uh they develop the seed, and after that they let the seed germinate like this, and here this is the character that they pick up to study. It is tall, tall and dwarf. Okay, tall and short. Okay, this is model. The first one here in P generation, we use a gene code as a large T, large T, and another uh, parent, we use it a small T and small T. And when they develop the gamete here, they de develop the one large T here, and develop the second parent here, develop the small T. And now that they combine together, so they will get large T and small T like this. Okay. And now for that, in the second step of the crossing here, uh, the gene, large T and small T here, come, uh, cross with the large T and small T like this. Okay, and in this step here, we need to separate the, the, the gene first. So you will get large T and small T. Large T and small T here. And now for that, we need to make a table like this this one we call pandas square okay like this and now that we put the gene in the large gene in here small gene in here the large gene in here and the small t in here and after that you get large t and small t large t and small t a large t oh sorry this one it is a large t and large t 
Okay, and this one large t and small t and small t and small t and this is a genotype of the f2 and we can get the the uh, phenotype large t large t here we can get tall characters and large t and small t here also tall characters and this one tall characters but small t and small t here will be short characters so the ratio between tall per short equals to 3 per 1 like this this is phenotypic ratio of the tall per shot equals to 3 per 1 thank you